<laughs> okay, well, my camera ran out of juice before we finished. If you look right down here, you see it's actually smaller. And over here, it's touching the line, and everything is lined up inside. We're also within our parameters to this line. And the same thing on this line. Actually, that could come in a little bit farther. There we go. That sets everything up perfect. I'm touching the line here. And if you look down at like this, you see I actually got a little bit. We wound this one a little tighter. Something else I'm going to show you. It's a little wider here than it gets down to here. And after, after because of the direction it turned, the wire doesn't really want to bend. So, if you wind your coil faster going down on your crank, if you're winding going around like this, if you're going faster on one side, your coil will be lopsided. If you slow down and keep a continuous speed, press in once in a while, you'll get a nice even coil. Second thing, you see I got uh, some little lines here, that's where the super glue, I can tell I did it in three layers. About every 25 turns, I saturated a little bit with super glue. Also, uh, another thing, you might see a little bit of a shine. See how the light's shining right in here? What I did to prevent that, something I should have done the first time, is I took a candle. And I rubbed the fire out of it. And then I, saw, I pushed it in with my thumb. I spread it out real easy, you know. Just like when you're doing with crayons, crayons leave little lumps and then spaces between if you bear down. But you can press it down and smear it out nice and smooth and look at that shine, just like a nice hardwood floor. Alright, we got 14 gauge wire sitting over there inside the, the drill, holding it as a spindle with a little bit of pressure, it's hard to turn. There's three coils, the first one on the left I'd done before getting on the camera. The second one here, we got through halfway through and the camera lost uh, power. The third one I just did because I forgot to put the tape on to show you how, so I just hadn't wound one. That's been about 15 minutes ago. And down here is where we're going to be. <coughs> Alright, we got the first seven windings on, onto this already. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line of super glue. I've waxed the whole form inside and the sides. So I'm just looking for a drop in between each of the wires here at the top and where this starts coming across here. I'm not trying to paste it to the side, but I'm going to put some through it and let the capillary action work. I'm going to put a decent drop right there and all the way across, just run a line and make sure it's got enough to make capillary action run down a little bit more. Capillary action is where the you put a drop on something and if it's fibrous it absorbs, kind of like your uh, paper towels. Without the fibers, the capillary action wouldn't work as fast and wouldn't soak up as much. Alright, another line across these. Getting this evenly all the way across on the first set. What I what I like, what I found works pretty good is I see a wire setting up a little high when I'm looking down it and I press it down even with this. That little gap helps out. Whoop, now that's trying to move over a notch. I think, it's, there we go. Keeping it kind of even makes it kind of easy to roll. And you take your time and give the wire time to bend so your coils don't come out well lopsided. So I'm going for the best one I can here. And my wife is counting with the counter each time I come up. And so far, I've got a nice even, what number is that? Thirteen. Thirteen? One more would have made seven. I think I got six across the middle here. I'm going to draw another line of super glue. Only down the side legs. I think these corners will, st corners will stay where they're supposed to be. Just a line, just another line. Not too much. Okay. And I'm at what now? Thirteen. You're going to fourteen right now. Fourteen. Fifteen. Oops, look like I got a gap there. There we go. A 
believe that 20. Yep. Another line of super glue. 20. Too late now. Nope. I'm gonna move that. Try not to scratch the wire. Yep, moved over just fine. That wants to split there. Okay. Where are we at? 41. 41. And where are we at now? 45. Is that 46? Is that 46? Yes, it's 46. Alright, I'm going to run a good drop across here. When I turn it sideways, some of it should flow. I'll run it across here. Pull my wire to where I think it ought to be. Yeah, looks like it wants to stay there. That's fine. I got a bug trying to get in my mouth. Not much fun. All right. Get out of here. All right. Where am I at? 63. Coming up on 63. Alright, we'll put two more and I can straighten the end of that out with that. There we go. That looks sweet. Alright, I'm going to run another drop across this. Then we'll spin this. I'm going to run it across here. My wife's keeping track of each quarter row turn, uh, rotate. So we ain't missing the lap. There we go. I'll put the super glue bottle down. That's right. I'm trying to keep it spinning even smooth speed. Keep from having warp coils. Yeah. Right here. All right. Well, I've got it up to here. Time to run this across. I should have ran it the last three quarters. That'd be a good tip. You get to watch me do it the wrong way. It's all right. I can get to three sides of it and three sides of it. Notice the uh, tension is still on the wire because I'm leaning against the crank. And I got this up here. Press it down and run straight across up here and we'll twist these two together one and a half turns just after I break this. And I'm going to take this back. I know you can't see it off camera. I'm breaking the wire here. Hooking it up to keep it tight on my spool. And we'll press this down right here. I'll take this right out this little groove. And I'm going to twist these pull this one all the way up nice and tight put them together 
about one and a half turns is pretty good. While you got this held down, go ahead and just lay this over to the side and to the middle. Don't twist these out of the way or you can work and take this thing off. Alright, good. First thing I'm going to do is take this. Camera's still rolling? Yes. Okay. Alright, take these two off. Pull this around up to here. We need to cut this right here. Here it is. There we go. Okay, I cut this with a razor blade and pull it through just a little bit. I'm going to take this one and pull it over. I'm going to take this one over here and pull it over here kind of tight. Leave it there. This one's a little long, but I know I have enough. Stick it there, stick it to the other piece of tape, move it to the side, pull this around, stick it all the way down there. They'll stay tight. Well, I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other Home Energies. All right, here we finished up. All I got to do now is just turn this thing backwards. This whole coil will come off. There goes the washer. The whole inside thre uh, thread of the wood was kind of tight, so basically after going on here so many times, it's pretty much threaded. That works real nice. That nut, uh, this front one stripped a little bit, so that's good, so the nut and washer push it together real nice. I left this one on here just for, to make sure these stay straight. Let's pull it apart. One thing to come out pretty easy after the rest one. There's the coil. This side might be stuck a little bit. Let's see here. Stick it on the tape. Leverage. Hello. That bad boy is solid. Gotta love Take it. Take this off quick. See what it looks like on the sides. Ooh, nice and pretty. There we go. Nice and shiny. shiny. That's right. There you go. All nice and shiny. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Look at that. That wax worked real nice. There we are. They all fit in their little parameters. Each line on each side. All the way around. They fit nicely. As a matter of fact, I got a small gap there, <laughs> a very small gap there, and almost a gap there. I guess I would pull out a gap they could touch. Basically, these are going to fit nicely. I could afford to wind them a little less uh, neat like this, put them a little sloppy like this. They'd fit just fine. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energy. Thank you, thanks to you.